So, with the MonsterVerse uh, now looking like it's still going to continue, I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about some other monsters that could possibly show up if Godzilla doesn't. Obviously, we've talked about Gamera several times of him making an appearance in the MonsterVerse. So, let's talk about some other monsters that could show up and how they could appear in the MonsterVerse. Of some monsters even being a part of this universe that are already under Warner Brothers and could get a fine tune-up, or just already be stuck here. So, without further ado, let's get it. Let's jump right into it with two movies that recently came out that I kind of, like, tangentially... I, like, just headcanon that they're part of the MonsterVerse in, in, like tangentially. And those two movies are Rampage and The Meg. No, uh, I really enjoyed Rampage, not so much The Meg. Mostly because I've read the book and I don't and I became that guy. So, The Meg and Rampage, even though Rampage is technically a video game, it doesn't really take a lot of the video game elements. So, honestly, it wouldn't be that hard to take the elements of what happened in Rampage uh, because it was so far removed from what was going on with Godzilla and Kong that you could transition them and be like, oh yeah, this was an event, this is George, um, he's a big ape but not as big as Kong. And there's also there were also other monsters. So you could have George or the other monsters from the Rampage games be a part of the MonsterVerse. It wouldn't be that hard. Same with the Meg. It would The Megalodon... Um, is a prehistoric shark, yes, but it's a big-ass prehistoric shark, and yeah, its events were not that, t it would not be that hard to explain in a world full of monsters already. They could be like, oh yeah, that happened um, off the coast of China, and some people died, but yeah, Monarch, a monarch was monitoring that, but the shark was already dead. Oh, there's a new shark? Remember, there is the Meg 2, which I'm honestly a little more interested in, because Ben Wheatley's a really good director, and he's doing that, and He's uh, apparently read the other sequel novels, so and I hope I hope when he says read, I hope not he doesn't mean like I skim through just to look for cool stuff. Um, but I'm a little more interested in the Meg too. Um, that seems like it'll be like, like Ben Wheatley's a really good horror director, so I'm I'm more and I'm more hopeful for the sequel than I was for the first movie. But getting back on point, the I think honestly the major thing you would have to do with uh, the big thing you would have to do with the Meg and Rampage is really nothing at all. You would just have to say, "Oh yeah, that happened. That uh, yeah, the, what happened in Chicago happened, and then we had a shark, a, a giant shark attack off the coast of China, and they could just be registered, you know, they could be like." considered titans like they're lower like not i wouldn't say like they're titan level but they're more like they're considered on the list of titans um and yeah it wouldn't be that hard i don't think it'd be that hard to get jason statham and dwayne johnson in a move in a warner brothers movie i don't know it won't be so yeah the meg and rampage i already consider them like unofficially part of the monster verse so just put the Meg and Rampage in the MonsterVerse, and I think we'll be we'll be just it will it will be peachy keen. Anyway, so the the next monster is one that uh, Warner Brothers owns and is needs a remake, and I think could work here, and that's none other than the Beast from Twenty Thousand Fathoms. The Beast from Twenty Thousand Fathoms was that monster movie that's not only one of Ray Harryhausen's like Golden Age movies, but it's also a movie that inspired Godzilla. It was a major inspiration for Godzilla. So having the Rotosaurus from the Beast from 20,000 Fathoms would not it would be perfect. It's literally a monster you already Warner Brothers already owns and is a monster that you can put in here and work as uh, until you get the Godzilla rights figured out. Rotosaurus could be that monster that could fill because again it was the inspiration for Godzilla so you may as well have the monster here while you're waiting to figure out what to do with to you know how your negotiations go with Toho um and plus it would be fun to see if Godzilla can come back it'd be see to see him throw down with um his originator Rotosaurus would also not be hard um especially how they do the titans here the you just need to make him bigger that would be the thing is like just make the Rotosaurus um bigger just make him titan-sized. That's really all you need to do to uh, do a remake of this film, is just make him larger. And 
Yeah, you can make him keep him quadrupedal. Keep, I don't think we get enough quadrupedal monsters these days, so just have him be quadrupedal. Um, maybe give him like a walk cycle, kind of like a Komodo dragon or your typical mon monitor lizard, and that's really all you need to do with that. And again, Titans are considered prehistoric beings. Rotosaurus, um, prehistoric being. So there you go. Rotosaurus would not be that hard. As for another monster I think could really work out well in the Monsterverse would have to be another monster under the banner of Warner Brothers, and that is them, the giant ants. I think it's high time that the Monsterverse go out a little out there and bring not only bring back this classic 1954 movie that came out the same year as Godzilla did in Japan and follows the same themes of Godzilla, of, of man probing into radioactivity and it unleashing unknown dangers onto the world. Really, and no, seriously, go watch them, and then go back and watch, and then watch Gojira, and see how well those themes play out with each other. Them would be perfect because it's not just one monster; it's multitudes of mon it's multitudes of monsters in here, and I think that would be kind of cool to see Monarch battle just swarms and swarms of monsters. It would also be kind of fun, maybe not, uh, it, even though they'll probably just remake it. Um, I think it'd be kind of cool to like maybe have it that it's a sequel to the original 54 film and say like, oh yeah, Monarch and the government have been battling the giant ants because they kept spawning, so we've been waging a secret war on these ants. But they'll probably make it a sequel and take out, and sadly take out all of the, um, you know, the nuance and, you know, because it was a really smart film. It's actually like not your typical 50s B-grade movie. It's actually like done with some respect in that regard. Also, get, um, get Industrial Light and Illusion, or whatever the name was, for um, uh, George Lucas's company. I want some practical effects, giant ants, damn it. <laughs> um, so totally, the giant ants from them should be part of the MonsterVerse. And again, they're under Warner Brothers, so that wouldn't be that hard. Um, now this one, I'm not sure where the movie rights lie for, for this character. I think... It is Warner Brothers, but I'm not 100% sure. And that is, um, uh, uh, what was it? The, the, the Ymir from, from 20 million miles to Earth. It would actually not be that hard, and it would actually be kind of fun to see the Ymir, another Ray Harryhausen characters, a character, uh, make his appearance in the MonsterVerse of someone who is like, Another, because uh, we, I'd like to see another alien creature show up outside of Ghidorah. His, his species, you know, his ship, or rather the rocket ship, crash lands in Italy. The oxygen and the atmosphere around the earth, around the creature's body makes it grow into and just make it Titan size this time. It would, and yeah, the Ymir is also kind of like a monster who is kind of like it's very much like the Frankenstein monster in that um, this is a creature that was taken from his home and experimented on and is now scared and confused. I really think you could make a sympath a really really play up the sympathetic al um, allegories with the Ymir like the original movie did. Um <clears throat> What was I going to say? Um yeah. So, but again, I'm not 100% sure where the rights lie for the Ymir um as of right now. If someone knows in the comments below, please let me know. Um, because I think I, the Ymir would be perfect uh, for uh, for the monster. He's another perfect monster to bring back for the monster verse. Um, as for others, um, Warner Brothers has several, but many of them are either in public domain or the rights have just been kind of up in the air. Um, Universal has several, but I doubt Universal will be willing to negotiate anything because Universal really made some... 50s movies, probably more than anyone else, because they were fast and they were cheap. So Universal really uh, made a, a ton of, just a shit ton of money from making these fast, cheap sci-fi movies. But, yeah, I think um, Warner Brothers could really play, and now that they're really playing it out, and again, it never hurts to do, um, uh, it never, uh, it never hurts to do original monsters. I've always said that. I'd ne uh, you know, it never hurts to bring back the classics, but it's always fun to see new monsters show up in um, 
in the cinema. I'm always down for new monsters in cinema. More, even more so than bringing back old monsters. Because, yeah, new monsters means new fans, and old fans get to fawn over them. So, but as always, I'm always, a, I don't mind seeing the original cast of monsters come back in some degree. And it would also be a nice tribute to, um, uh, it would nice be also be just a sweet tribute to Ray Harryhausen, who none of this would be possible without him. So you guys tell me, um, tell me in the comments below, um, what monsters would you like to see come back and, uh, American monsters, I should stress, and see them come back? Do you want to see the Meg and Rampage be a part of the Monsterverse? And what monsters do you want to see from the 50s and 60s and even further? Like, what giant monsters would you like to see be a part of the Monsterverse? Or, as always, do you want to see, mon um... Do you want to see new monsters along the way, too, if we can't get Toho back? And yes, we've already talked about Gamera. There's no need to discuss Gamera here. We've talked about him enough. I'm talking about monsters from here in the States. Anyway, so just comment below. Let me know. And once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.